Special tires for racing or no? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, special tires um, are, you know, obviously they don't have the traction capabilities for the road. So if you're riding around in wet conditions, they, you know, heat up, get slick, actually grip the road. So um, most everything is uh, the same size, which is right around a two and a quarter or two and a half by 17. Mm -hmm. And they have actually cut out in like the tread is completely different uh, it's not it's just for mainly getting water and whatever out of the way instead of uh, in comparison these are the stock tires on pretty much any moped that's more suitable for everyday driving around conditions right so you're saying that these aren't recommended to be used when uh when riding in the rain <laughs> Not while riding in the rain, no. Right, so not Seattle tires. <laughs> no, I, this, this actually is not a rain bike at all. That's one of the problems with living in Seattle. <laughs> yeah, it rains a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me about water cooling, because I've never seen water cooling on a moped before. Well, generally the reason that bikes have gone to water cooling is because it keeps the cylinder at a more consistent temperature. Um, uh, in this case, I actually install all of this because these bikes are air-cooled from the factory. Um, and this is an aftermarket cylinder kit that allows you to switch over to water cooling. And I actually borrowed a uh, scooter radiator, built the brackets for it, um, and then used a automotive water pump over on this side of the bike to uh, circulate the coolant through the bike. In this case, because this motor is a, uh, a vintage variated, uh, newer bikes use like a dual variator where the rear cheek will expand and the front cheek closes on the bike. Um, these more vintage setups, you want to lean it up a little bit more. You can see that the whole bike, the whole motor has to rotate on the bike. So the pipe in this case has to have a ball joint and be able to articulate and swing. Um, I have to tune this spring down here, which uh, changes how much pressure is putting on the motor. And also there's a little set of weights inside of the variator um, that change at what RPM this cheek starts closing up on the bike to change, you know, what, essentially what RPM the motor is running at. So you try to keep the motor more in its power band by changing uh, the weights and the spring ratio on the bike. And this is all done because this doesn't have a wet transmission. Yeah, yeah, there's, a, and plus, uh, to be a moped, you either have to be a single speed or a uh, automatic transmission. You can't, you can't have gears, essentially. Oh. Like, kind of historically, that was the, the idea behind them. So how they did these on this bike to add, essentially, a gear ratio is by just adding this automatic pulley on it. This is, like, the very first version of variating that was ever uh, done on pretty much any, I think about any bike was uh, the French bikes were the, pretty much the first ones to add these variators, so you, hence the kind of crude design of the variation on it, because the new ones all, scooters and all that have gone to an expanding cheek in the back, so when this closes down this expands, but this in this case it's fixed so everything has to be moved <laughs> Is to allow it. Is one more efficient than the other? Um, generally, the newer design is a little bit better based on the fact that on this bike, when the clutch engages and it's all the way down here, the cheek needs to have expanded to be able to grab the belt a little bit. Um, and it hasn't in that case. And so the belt slips, so you wear belts out faster. Newer ones, because they've often moved the clutch back here, so this whole assembly rotates um, continuously, this cheek is always tightened up against the belt so you don't get as much slippage on the belt. Uh, they do have aftermarkets for these bikes, I just don't have it on here, where they've added a clutch back here, and even later on, Peugeot's went this way, they had a clutch back here, so this assembly stays turning the whole time, so it stays tighter on the belt. Okay, great. Good explanation.